Okay, now I'm going to show you how to set up the potentiometers on this gimbal. Um, a couple, a couple notes beforehand. Uh, I don't, you know, everybody's worked with different systems in the past. Just a couple notes, precautionary notes on this. The, the tilt axis on the Sinister gimbal uses a continuous rotation potentiometer over here, and so uh, because of that, you actually, you really can't hurt the tilt axis at all. I, I don't know if some of you in the past you probably hooked up a gimbal and not had the pot plugged in or something like that, and the tilt axis will just go. It'll go full speed and go. Um, with this gimbal, you can rotate this thing around 360 degrees uh, an infinite number of times and you won't actually damage that pot. There's nothing mechanically that you'll damage. Um, so that makes the tilt axis kind of nice to set up. The roll axis um, is also a continuous rotation pot, but you will, there are mechanical stops on the Sinistar gimbal. So if you get to, if you get to there, that will actually mechanically stop. So if, if you have this thing hooked up and the potentiometer disconnected and you command you command a roll a roll input beyond those points it will actually bind and could potentially do some damage to the gimbal so be careful when you're resetting roll axis to either um, you know you can remove the uh, you can remove this pulley off the servo or you can remove the belt to make sure that you don't actually damage the gimbal at all so let's go through and set up the tilt axis first this one is actually ready to ship out the door so it's already set up I'm gonna purposely get the tilt axis out of out of whack a little bit here for you guys to see so you can uh, see what it's like to, to dial it in for your particular setup. Um, so this servo lead kind of coming from off camera is outputting uh, 1500 microseconds pulse pulse width. So I've just hooked that up. Let me turn that on. Okay, so the gimbal's live. You can see the tilt is sitting there uh, still. It's about level. You know, we haven't finally adjusted it. Um, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to adjust it for different setups. So this, this piece here actually is a clamping mechanism that clamps onto the potentiometer. So if we loosen this screw, let me turn it so you can see a little bit better. Loosen that screw and loosen this screw, which is already loose. Um, you'll actually be able to take a screwdriver, just a flathead screwdriver, take it in here, and there's a slot in the end of the potentiometer shaft. Find that slot. And then as you rotate this slowly, the, the pot will be giving a command to the servo to move. And it's actually moving where the neutral point for the camera tilt tray is. Let me try and get my hand out of the way a little bit so you can see. So as we rotate this, we're actually setting the neutral point of the camera gimbal. So just rotate this slowly until you get it to the point where you want it, which, you know, for most people, is about right in this range and when we get get it set up there we've got uh, you know we've got the camera plate roughly level to this top tube so that's a good starting point um, now we'll do once you do that you need to uh, you need to retighten this clamp so just tighten this guy down a little bit and then the one below it you know ensuring to uh, tighten those clamps even more Okay, so let's now move on to roll axis. Like I mentioned, this one you can actually do mechanical damage to because there's mechanical stops. So just be careful with this. If you're uncertain at all and you're messing around with the setup and you're not sure if the pot's plugged in correctly, you're not sure if the motor's turning the right way, the fail-safe way to do it is just to remove the belt. You know, take this, take this pulley off the servo, take the pulley off the belt. I'll show you how to I'll show you the easiest way to do that right now. You can uh, if you just for the roll, these four, these four screws right here, those clamp the piece that hold the roll servo on there. So if you loosen those four, you can actually slide this roll servo up and down. It can be somewhat of a tight fit, but get it a little bit looser. These clamps really, really clamp quite well. Um, so I just put my hands underneath that and then just push down on this. Okay, so that just, that just, that just came down lo loose enough that it's not actually engaging the belt anymore. We can, you can take the belt off. I just kind of make it loose under the, under that part there, and then you can actually take it right off of there. So now we've got the belt disconnected from the roll axis. Let's say 
for some reason your your gimbal gets all out of whack you don't know you no longer know where uh, where neutral is on the roll axis I'll show you how to set that up um, so let's plug this in let's go live on it so you can see as this moves it's it's this pot it's moving the shaft and it's commanding the servo to move back and forth so you can see right about there we're centered and that's perfectly centered on the gimbal let's say that this was not the case and you need to you need to change it for your particular flight controller it uses a different uh, different pulse width from 1500 I don't know, there's a variety of different reasons why you might need to do something so I'm gonna turn this back off all right back to uh, removing the roll pot um, so in order to do so you're gonna need to there's a set screw on the bottom side of the pulley if you can loosen that up that will disengage the pulley from the pot shaft once you do that we'll need to loosen this m3 by 6 right here loosen that up and then this, this whole pot will actually just slide right out of that pulley Once that pot is out, then you, we can actually we can actually turn this system back on. I've got a switch over here you can't see off camera. Turn that back on, and you'll see that we are we're actually commanding the servo via the potentiometer. So let's say that uh, you know you're plugging it in your flight control system. It says here's the neutral point, but the the mount is actually not not centered correctly. Find that point, let's say that point is here, and I plugged it into my MK stabilizer. I actually need to take and move that pot slowly until the servo stops. It can be hard to get it exactly right, but so there we've got it. So let's, uh, now what we'll need to do is we'll need to carefully reinsert this back into the pulley. And I leave it on when I do this, just so I can, so I know if I bump it at all. Um, so just reinsert this carefully right back in the slot. You can even just the littlest touches on the pot will try make it try and drive the servo. So and then I'll tighten this, tighten this standoff back up. Just be really careful to not try and not bump that pot at all. I'm gonna actually turn it off now and then so I can carefully move this up and then let's tighten that set screw onto the pot shaft. So that when this moves, it actually is moving the potentiometer rather than having it slip inside that pulley. Okay. Let's turn it back on. And you can see it's there we go. So it's centered. It's I got it a little bit off when I put it in. Um, so you can actually just take hold it where it needs to be, and you can just actually take and grip this pot firmly. And just rotate it very slightly, very slowly to, to just do fine adjustments once it's all put back together. Just a little trick I've learned because it's really tough to it's really tough to get it perfectly aligned as you put it back in that uh, back in the pulley. So let's take and put the belt back on. So that kind of shows you worst case scenario. If, you know, if the uh, if your flight controller gives a really different output for a neutral point besides 1500 microseconds, that will That'll give you an idea of how to set that up um, for different systems, and then you know also people like to like to play around with this stuff. If you get just completely the system all whacked out, you can you can use this as a guideline to get it back to uh, a state of state of working. So let's put that uh, let's put that belt back on. Slide this, just kind of wiggle it and slide that pulley right up. Tension it up. When you do this, you have to be somewhat careful that you align the pulleys. It, it doesn't really make a difference in how it functions. It's just an aesthetic thing that I'm kind of picky about, but um, just get them lined up. Snug these, the four clamps that actually hold that, uh, hold that servo in place. And then everything's back live again. We'll power it up. You can see it's, it's uh, centered, it's holding. It's holding nicely and it's all, uh, Good to go, roll access pot is set up.
All right, I think that should provide you guys a good foundation um, on how to set up your Cinestar gimbal for use in aerial cinematography. Uh, we're going to be adding a lot more tutorial videos to both our Facebook page and our YouTube channel in the upcoming days. So look back, uh, look, look back to those two sources for more videos. And if there's anything in particular that anyone would like to see in an upcoming video, we'd love to hear from you guys. Um, things that you find difficult or uh, would, would like a little tutorial video on how to set up. Uh, so thanks for watching. Bye-bye.